Shout it. Shout it. Now, when you look at the label and all of your artists over the years, what was some of your favorite music that you dropped that when you heard it in the studio, you said, you know what? This is about to tear some stuff up. Yeah. Uh, I like the whole lot of it. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? I like more of the things that, you know, me and Scarface would create together mm-hmm. and different things like that. But the song Mind Playing Tricks was one that... Uh, really done the most for yeah. our movement because prior to that when we could get we couldn't get radio, we couldn't get video, you know, they was really discriminating and, mm-hmm. and hating on our movement. And city by city, you know what I mean, we kicked the doors in. That was a song that, you know, couldn't be denied. Yeah. You know what I mean? Couldn't be denied no matter how they hated the streets mm-hmm. demanded and requested. Now, back to the pimp and the bond. Both of their solo albums. Being able to get them over there as solo artists, man. I mean, that was also a slick move also. So what was it like watching them work on their solo projects knowing that they were about to test some things up also? Yeah, that was what I call a finesse move. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had to finesse them people yeah. in the power that be that claim, well, we got contracts on them, this can't be done. I'm like, oh, yeah, it could be done. Mm-hmm. Let me show you how we can get it done. Mm. And uh, after getting it done, you know, uh, it was a beautiful journey because mm-hmm. it opened the doors for Bun to have a, a revenue stream mm-hmm. that, you know, took him to another planet. And then when Pimp came out, you know what I mean, he also had the same opportunity. Mm-hmm. And then I went as far as tied myself to be rewarded on the UGK album mm. that they done. Uh as well, just for giving me a hard time. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, I yeah. need to be down with this one too. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so we uh we had fun with that movement. That business acumen though, Jay. Where does all of this brilliance come from, man? When you're going into these offices with these people trying to get them to uh do what a black man's telling them to do. Yeah, you know, uh I credit a lot of it to uh the streets, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And a lot of people probably don't know how to receive that, but I think, you know, street guys, we're some of the most brilliant dudes in the world. That's right. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we, no one, no system has systemized us, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And limited our growth and our imagination uh, and our risk tolerance may be a, a little higher than a person that gets systemized. Mm-hmm. You know, by no mean am I discrediting education because you know i think it's a beautiful thing mm-hmm. but by the same token uh everybody that don't make it to college mm-hmm. you know i stand as a, a, a inspiration to you mm-hmm. because i didn't make it you know what i mean but yet and still i made it radio shouting, shouting.